we are studying cultural history as a system. We are integrating the different parts, which are nodes, with uh, connections, which are stories, which are links. The content is a system. What is happening with the content, the teaching of it, is another system. It is the learning system. Then this is happening in the context of a, the school, which has the administration, the teachers, the pupils, the parents, and so on. That is the system. That is connected to other schools. That is connected to communities. It's a system and a system and a system and a system. But since we have got to this point in world cultural history without explicitly knowing this, and in most teach schools they don't teach it, why should we be interested in that is because we believe we are training people for a future, to create a future, to have a future, to avoid collapse. And to do that, it will be essential to have a bigger picture, to have more knowledge, to have a larger skill set than people have had previously as graduates of our school system. And that is, we want to provide them with an understanding of the world we live in as a system, with its threats, with the interconnection of all things. People say, well, the Easter Islanders, why did, that, why, did he, why did he cut down the last tree? And there is not a reason, because the reason is the system. All of the possible reasons are part of the reason. And the real reason is a system, you see. So we want a higher level understanding of the world we live in. And that's the purpose of our education. And that's why we have to foreground systems in the Ross School.